What is going on, everybody? You know what time it is. The table's here. We're here. It's time for table talk. All right, it is Nate Pennington, your co-host with the lovely Vuyo. Yay! And we got some conversations to start today. I love how you did that. It was I like, got to start with a spark. We did it. Yeah, we got to start with a spark. <laughs> so uh, how you been feeling? What do you got going on? What are your thoughts, uh, feelings? How's good. this week going? I've been good. Had a had a very interesting weekend. Yeah. I mean, at the back of Fashion Week, obviously, which extended the whole yeah. of next, last week. That I was true. exhausted at mm. the end of it all. But yeah, and then after that, I kind of try to rest a bit. Yeah, you know, yeah. girls got to do a lot of errands and adulting stuff, which we always all comes that. in the play. Yeah. But apart from that, um, yeah, I've just been trying to rest, man. It's been a last week was a lot. Yeah, I think I can relate to that. I uh, I had like a good two days after that where I was just like, I wanted to do things, like my mind wanted to do things and get busy, but my body was like, just yeah. take it a little slower, you know? So I, I think I'm recovered. I think I'm feeling good after that. But uh, um, I saw you were at some market or wor- some Korean. <laughs> I, I saw you were di- you did that. I'm like, that is so you. I was like, you were in your, <laughs> your so K-pop era. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny how I was having a friend of mine on, was it Saturday? Yeah. So Saturday, there was a lot, th- a lot of things going on. Yeah. It's the end of summer. Everyone's hosting something. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was like, okay, where do we go, right? And I text this friend of mine, Zoe, and I'm like, listen, girl, to be honest with you, I don't want to do anything today. I just want to, if I could go outside, if it's something chilled. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to like go to a party. I don't want to do anything. Keep it low-key. I don't want to have to go dress up mm-hmm. and, and have to like, you know, with heels like fashion week yeah nothing too bougie i just want to relax so she was like hey girl there's this festival happening Mm. downtown Mm. it's a korean festival korean japanese festival so i was like yo that sounds like so much fun so i was like send me the information she sends me the information and i go on the on the thing on instagram and i'm like oh this looks dope so i head we head over there and yeah it was just like k-pop everywhere it looked popping like i was like this is my vibe and i am a obsessed k-drama fan Mm -hmm. like the only reason i have netflix is to watch k-drama that was one of the first conversations we had really remember i remember you telling me about the the k-drama yeah that was was (laughs) was one of the first conversations we had i I love k so i was so excited i was like oh my god and they were playing my brother is like a, s- obsessed with BTS, mm-hmm. so they were playing BTS music. The girls were doing like dance moves. I had so much fun. We had f- there was food everywhere, so it was a street festival. Oh, that's cool. So there was like Korean food, and then it was separated between Korea and J- Japan. Oh, okay. So it was like okay. this is the Korean side, this is the Japanese side, okay. and the Korean side was like more like vibes and music, and then the Japan side was like more food, mm. good food. There was like this cool guy who was like some sort of DJ there. I saw you had footage of a DJ. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. he was like, and then I was taking a video. He was like, oh, you look so beautiful. You remember that? Oh, yes. <laughs> you post on your Instagram. Yes. Yeah. he was just like. He, he was vibing hard. I he was know. having a good time. He was yeah. a DJ in there. So it was like the Korean side was when me and Zoe would go for like, you know, good food and good vibes. And then the yeah. Korean side is where you kind of get more culture, more gotcha. understanding of the music. So it was really fun. Um. It was happening, I think, a lower side. We got off at, f- you could get off at 14th Street or 23rd mm-hmm, Street. Mm-hmm. So it was r- around about that area. Was it just one day or is it like a... Yeah, it, yeah. Was, just, it was just that day. Um, we got to get to, s- we got to smell like Egyptian um, f- fragrance and mm. this guy who was like, he makes like His s- own. oils. Yeah, and yeah. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. Like, so there was just so much going on. Um, we then ended up just heading over to Zoe's and just had a rooftop, like oh. sunset vibes. Oh, that's cool. That's which really is cool. cool. So yeah, that was the, actually I forgot about that, <laughs> but that was a big yeah. That was my entire Saturday. Yeah, well that's cool. That sounds like it was a good time, yeah. especially kind of like something a little more low key that wasn't, you know, like you said, something like some party you had to go to, uh, something a little more you could just like kind of like chill yeah, and enjoy, which is and good. And not have to like think about it. You yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah. it's like oh you these just events rolled with it. These events you have to look good. You have to. You know, Present yourself dress a certain up good way. And, yeah. oh, and you have to network and mm-hmm. all of that stuff. The networking, oh, what do you yeah. Do? You can oh, finally just have fun. You know, yeah. what do you do? Oh, I did. Oh, what do you do? Oh, mm-hmm. should we collaborate? Should we? Yeah. And there's just sometimes it's just like, I just want to go and laugh. Yeah, I just want to exactly. go and relax. Just hang out with friends, have a good time. So that was that. Was that yeah. Well, cool. What about you? What, what did you get up to? Work. Uh, yeah, noth- I don't think there's nothing crazy. I mean, I had a little bit of downtime I spent with Sky. We yeah. watched a couple of our shows together, and other than that, just work. And what are you guys I, watching right now? Big Brother. 
Oh, what? Do, do you know Big Brother? You guys watch Big Brother? Yeah. Which know, version? Just the, the class. American. The yeah, American. American. There's I guess other, that's the original. Is there other version? There's Big Brother Africa. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. So <laughs> Big Brother, like, I I I grew up watching Big Brother with my parents. Oh my, my mom and dad loved it, loved it growing up. And then eventually, at some point, it got to a point where I was like, same thing with my parents. Like, I guess when I moved out we kind of stopped watching it my parents did too okay. it was just like okay it's kind of just the same thing yeah like, it's like the same time every year but i once i met sky she i realized that she watched it because usually people my age i no one knows about it a lot of people don't know about it my age at least people that I, like my friends and i found out sky watched it when we first got together i was like oh, okay maybe i'll start watching again and oh, now i'm obsessed yeah. again so i'm we've really been into that and survivor starts New season of Survivors tomorrow, I think, which I'm very <laughs> excited for. Ani is amazing race. I didn't know trifecta. Survivor was still there. Oh, An Survivor season race. 47, baby. We're ready to go. <laughs> yes, I'm looking forward That's to it. That's a lot. That's a lot of seasons. Yeah, they crank them out like Damn. crazy. And yeah. they still go to the jungle. And they yeah, still... they, I, well, I think if I'm correct, the oh, older is that, seasons. Oh, is that Amazing Race? What? The Amazing Race is like different countries. Okay, every, okay, every, okay, okay. Um, but the Survivor, the older seasons, I think they used to go to different places. They'd be in like... Vietnam or not I don't the, the, don't take my word for it but like they'd go to other islands other countries but now I think they just do Fiji I think every oh. season it's it's the same island Fiji okay. um but yeah they have different themes every year and everything but I'm really looking forward to that tomorrow so I will be tuning in Survivor um season 47 40, I think it's 47 yeah. yeah which is crazy to think he's been doing it 20 something years it's the same guy right same guy wow that's, same that's guy. a nice gig yeah no tell me about it <laughs> I think me and my, my old roommate we used to watch it all the time together and uh i think it's jeff probst is his name wow is, is jeff or i didn't know so if i was yeah. i mean we so disclaimer yeah yeah in south africa or at least some african country we take everything that happens in america yeah. and we call it da 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 south africa yeah yeah or da 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 america so yeah, how housewives yeah, are yeah survivor south africa yeah. or big brother so south you have africa. different hosts and everything yeah oh, so weird. but our survivor ended like I think 10 years ago. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's yeah. why I was so shocked. Our survivor's pushing strong. But, yeah. yeah 47 but, uh, seasons. Everything. I think everything that you guys do, not everything, because obviously that's impossible to do everything. Yeah, But, like, yeah, a lot of those yeah. big, like... It's like the popular stuff. American Idol. Love Island, I think. Love Island. Like yeah, Temptation yeah. Island. Yeah. Some of Temptation them don't work Island. over there. They actually, we did the Temptation Island. One season of Temptation yeah. Island. Okay. Some of them, Love at First Sight. Love at First Sight, yeah. Married at L- First all the Sight. Love, all the love shows. Because everybody all, loves those. Yeah. yeah. They really do. Um, yeah. Love is Blind. We haven't done Love is Blind. But I'm sure like, it will, liter- It probably yeah. will get there. So, all of the big shows we we have. So, even Big Brother. Yeah. It's a big show in South Africa. Oh, I'm sure. And then there's a franchise where they do it. In, like, and there's Big Brother South Africa, which is called Big Brother Mzansi. Yeah, yeah. And then there's Big Brother Nigeria, oh, okay. which is also a big franchise. Yeah. And then there's Big Brother Africa for people from all over all Africa. All Africa, yeah, yeah. So you can also like sign up to be from... And then they like win money and like they become yeah. celebrities. Yeah, I mean, people... In the, there's people that have been on Survivor that also end up being on Amazing Race or Big Brother. Like they... It's like... Those three spe- shows specifically, Big Brother, Survivor, and Amazing Race, it seems like there's always like a merge of like people that were previous on one of them, they get on another they one. They're the same company, perhaps. Are they I, I think they're all CBS, I think. Okay, so it's probably. Okay. Probably, but like they, if, if they've been entertaining on another show, of course they're going to want to have them on another one, you know? But imagine that being your, your what you're known for is like, I'm just a reality TV <laughs> guy. That'd <laughs> no, be fun. Though. In America. That'd be fun. Do you watch any reality shows, Marcus? Reality shows? Yeah. Uh, Survivor, Big Brother, no. Uh, nah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're missing out. You're missing out. You're missing out. No, it's, 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 this is my favorite kind of show, honestly. I'm sure there's one that's just like off the top of my head. Yeah. But yeah. I feel like reality, like you have to have a particular palette to like reality to- shows. Oh, 100%. Like, I don't like all reality shows. Like, I don't like the ones that are so like blatantly fake. Okay. Um, I don't know. Like, and like, I'm not a big fan of too many of like the love ones love island was all right but it was like there's like 39 episodes i'm like this is getting repetitive i can't i can't finish this um but yeah i like survivor amazing race and big brother those are my top three for sure yeah um, i've heard of it that's that's the one i don't want i love it hip-hop i don't want i don't want i don't that's where cardi b was found right yeah oh really yeah she started on something like that that's where she started Oh, what a career start for her, huh? Uh, oh, that's what it came from? 
Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. That's hilarious. <laughs> and she popped off. That's crazy. Hey, I mean, yeah. It. So you guys are watching Big Brother. Yeah, Big That's Brother. That's where this That's all started, one. actually. The whole yeah. reality show conversation. So you're watching yeah. Big Brother. You guys were just chilling this weekend. You were yeah, saying? it really wasn't much other than that. Just yeah. working and my, my day job. My day job mm, sucks, but maybe one day you guys can help me afford uh, rent other ways. <laughs> <laughs> not having to have a day job, you know, but we'll see. I know. Like, I, you know what I would love to do in my life, if I'll be honest? Like, I would want to just, like, come to the studio and, like, just record all day. And that'd be and it. That, that's, like, that's it. Yeah, that's, that's the it. goal, right? And not do anything I else. I love that. I, I mean, that'd sign me up. Yeah, that'd be fun for sure. So we're going to we have to get there. You guys must help us get there, okay? Yes, it's all up to you. I can't decide. It's you guys. So you hopefully guys I'm entertaining just... enough for you guys to get that. <laughs> but I think I am, but we'll I'm see. I'm sure you are. I'm sure we'll, you are. We'll check the numbers. But, but uh, yeah. staying on the topic of TV, the Emmys Ooh. were, what, yesterday or the day before? Yesterday. Or no, yeah, there was oh, some the time. Day? Was some it Sunday? Recently. Maybe Sunday. It might have been the weekend, yeah. But uh, I just wanted to shout out Shogun. Shogun. Have you seen Shogun on Hulu? No. So... So many shows. So yeah, I'm a I'm a big TV show guy. Um, so funny thing about it, Shogun. I've watched everything except the last episode. How many seasons? There's is one. Okay. It just came out, and it's funny. I actually have a very bad habit. Everybody thinks I'm weird for this, which I get. I am weird for this. <laughs> Every one of my favorite shows that I know is gonna end, I never finish them. Why is that? I don't want them to end. So, but like, you know there's going to be a season two. Yeah, well, at Shogun at first, there was rumors that there wasn't going to be a se another season. They thought there was, they just thought it was good where it was at, but I think there's rumors that there is going to be more, so I'm going to watch it. Obviously, if you have an it. Emmy, yeah, so I'm going to watch it again, season two. or I'm going to finish it, but, like, shows like Lost, um, Breaking Bad, like, for example. Oh, is that your Like, when I knew they were, like, last season, I would never watch the last, I still, to this day, haven't watched the last episode of Lost, haven't watched the last episode of Breaking Bad. But that doesn't, I don't understand why. I, trust me, I don't either. You don't want to know how it ends? I just, it, I think the fact of me knowing that it's over is so devastating to me. So I'm just like, I have that, ha that cliffhanger to go off of, and I never uh, want anybody to spoil it for me, and even if people have spoiled some shows, like, I just, I don't know, I just, I avoid the last episode. It's it's a weird thing I do. I I don't know why I do it, but and I do it. And then if there's a season two, you would then go back to watching the last episode. Yeah, I mean, if there's another season, then yeah, I'll I'll watch it. But if it, I know if it's it and it's done, mm -mm. like it's I, it's hard for me to watch. I get sad. I Interesting. Get sad. Yeah, it's, it's weird. It's weird. It's such I've never heard someone with that. I think I'm the first person, and the only person to ever do that. If if you do that, let us know because I'm gonna be I'm very curious if I'm, if I'm the only person that does that. But, uh, I think you are. I think I, I am think too. Yeah, I get a lot of hate for that, <laughs> but I, I get it. But back to the topic of Shogun, um, they won an all-time record for a single season of TV and won 18 Emmys. <gasps> how many? How, what is the genre? What is it about? Uh, it's basically like about like old, like older time Japan, um, and like the kind of pretty much like I don't want to like. I don't really know how to explain it. It's like... Is it like fiction, non-fiction? No, it, I don't know if it's kind of like... It's it's fiction, but it's based on like old time, like Japan and like the ru like rulers of Japan and like just controversy between politics and like the families in Japan. Where is it set? Japan. <laughs> 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 there's different... There's different... <laughs> I'm just going to go over the list of awards it won. Um, so it, it won Best Drama. That's insane. Best Directing, Best Sound Mixing, Best Sound Editing, mm. Best Picture Editing, Best Cinematography, Best Period Costumes, which I follow the costume designer. does amazing work and also did Alien Romulus' com costume design. Um, best Main Title Design, Best Production Design, Best Prosthetic Makeup, Best Stunt Performance, Best Casting for a Drama, which the cast was amazing, Best Special Visual Effects, Best Period Slash Fantasy Makeup, mm. Best Period Slash Fantasy Hairstyling, Best Lead Actress, Anna Sawai, I hope I'm not butchering the name, Best Lead Actor, Hiroyuki Sanada, who's a very popular, you, you see his face, you'll know who he is, he's in a lot of stuff, um, and Best Guest Actor in a Drama, Nestor Carbonell. 
I'm actually looking at this because I need. To, I was like, I, as you're saying, so it is actually Japan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Shogun. Like sh Shogun was like a warlord in Japan. And, and it's actually Japanese people in it. Yeah, yeah. They, it, I think it's based off a. Uh, I want to say it's based off a book, or I think I'm pretty sure it's based off a book, and that's why they were like hesitant about having a season two because mm. the whole season was like the book, and they mm. didn't really want to push past that. They like were happy with what they made, but like it got so much like respect and like love that I think they're gonna end up trying to like pursue the, the, fur the further story. Yeah. So if they take all those awards, who, what what is everyone else winning? Nothing. <laughs> I don't. Like, I don't know. They won. They almost cleaned house. I think. Cause there was there was I I didn't I didn't hear about Shogun. Shogun? Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I I followed the I think I followed from like who were what type of. Mm -hmm. I was like who who yeah, what. Yeah, yeah. And the stuff that I like mm -hmm. that I was kind of following to see did they win or did yeah, they not. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't hear about Shogun. I haven't heard much rave on social media about Shogun. Maybe really? I've been we're following two different places. social medias <laughs> then. Because Shogun Did you know is about like Shogun, amazing. Marcus? I saw the trailer. Okay. It's amazing. You, you need to watch it. It's really good. So you know about it. And I think it. you'd love it because like, you love the Korean dramas. And I mean, K you know K-drama is nothing about... F no one fights nobody. Yeah, Everybody's it's, happy. It's, I mean, it's pretty like... I mean, it's pretty... It's violent. But it's yeah. like... It's real. You know, it's gritty to like that... That old school, like Japan, you know, like the battles and like the historic context of uh, it. So okay. it's very like gritty, but it's amazing. Oh wow! Very good show. Yeah, no, K drama is all about like, it's all about like happy, happy, happy. happy we happy. dance. We, we dance. do this. <laughs> yeah. We dance. We love. We look pretty. <laughs> that's K drama. I love yeah, that. I don't know much about it, so <laughs> I'm that's like, Yay. you for sure. He likes her. She likes him. Yay! Happy ending. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's you. Good. That's so not ain't me. nothing about that fighting and yeah. people killing each other. Yeah, I like the grittiness. So. But yeah, so I'm gonna check that out now because yeah, yeah, I think check it out. if it's. Uh, if if it wins so many Emmys, you gotta yeah. It's but that is a lot. I heard people who are not even upset, but like there were, you know, debates about oh, yeah. um, uh, the the cooking show, the bear. Oh, the bear, yeah. The bear. I I, I love the bear. I love the bear as well, mm. but Did, people are complaining that it won in in comedy category. See, I I do agree with that because it's not a comedy show. I didn't I don't remember laughing a couple of times when I, watching it. I do think it's weird that it's labeled a comedy. I think it should be just a drama. It um, is. I think it is a drama. Yeah, because like, I remember when I first stumbled upon it, like when it first came out, and I was like, oh, comedy, and like my girlfriend, like she's big into comedy, mm. so I was like, oh, okay, I watched it, and I was like, this. Like there's some funny scenes, like of them like bickering back and forth and like everything. Like the two but, like, brothers. Yeah, the, the, but the two brothers the cousins, were funny. The yeah, cousins. But, but like it's more of like a sad like, and the, at sad. least the first two seasons are more like in deep and drama. But yeah, there's definitely not much comedy aspects. It's very backdoor the comedy. So I, they won a comedy award. They won in the in the comedy, and it's not yeah. even the, the, even the last year's Emmys. They won something in the comedy. Yeah, I don't think it's um, funny. Like it's in the comedy category, and uh, maybe it's because there's they want to make sure it wins. I think it's just a good show, and it's on paper it's labeled a comedy. So technically, I feel like they have to. It's maybe Based maybe we are the ones who don't know the f we don't know what's funny. I think I'm know what's funny. <laughs> maybe because I'm just like, which part was I mean they, those two? But I don't I don't even like that. When even when John Cena came, yeah, I mean I didn't find that funny. There's witty funny things. You know what I mean? It, but it's not. It's definitely de not deserving of a comedy award. So that's what people were kind of complaining about. But I'm glad it I'm glad it's recognized at the Emmys. Yeah, it's a great show, but um, I think it's more of a drama though. Yeah. yeah. So that that was what I heard on social media. And obviously the fashion, you know, everyone Oh yeah. Um what's the girl's name? Which one? The sous chef. I've, her real name. Oh I is it oh, Io? Io? Edebiri, yeah, she her she's always uh, got great fashion. She's from, she has a Nigerian name. She's Nigerian. Oh, I okay. think she's Nigerian, yeah. And she, I remember watching. She even has a Tom Brown, um, chef uniform. Oh. So Tom Brown's like a big big name designer. So I always like oh. thought that was like, and it was like subtly put in there. But she's oh, always really? got great great style. And then she also like I remember it was either this season or last season. 
her she, she always wears like bandanas and she wore like four capital bandanas which is like a huge japanese brand so i was like that's pretty sick on the show yeah so oh, like subtly okay. she's just got fire wardrobe and no one says anything <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i thought that was pretty cool oh okay yeah so that that's what i that's what i heard people were upset that Alo, Abo, what is it Alo, Ayo, no, no, um, Alo, i hate Ab- butchering it yeah uh, Abbott, Ad- Abbott Elementary. Oh, Abbott Elementary. I've heard good things. I haven't seen People it. People were upset that it, I, I think. Because that's a true comedy. I think something was taken by the bay that they should have won. Probably so, a comedy. Yeah, top, so people were like, why would, why would they not win? Because mm. they, I mean, in the past couple of Emmys, I think in the last two Emmys, they they took a lot of awards. Well, I've heard good things, but in te- it's technically like a sitcom, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a it's like a family fun. Yeah, so um, s- sitcoms. It's kind of rare. I don't for know them if it's a sitcom. It what sitcom? categorizes a sitcom? Like it's like the at, st- at the studio, people are laughing like a like a like like friends. a Seinfeld. Oh, Seinfeld. Yeah, like because uh, I know sitcoms aren't that popular no, anymore. No, that They show, were huge in the nineties. Yeah, but they're not that popular. So for it, if it is like a sitcom kind of stuff, I don't think it's a sitcom. You don't think so? I think it would categorize under something else. Maybe not. Because it's know. like you know where they would like say something and then it would break to the next scene without it. I don't I see know. What you're saying. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I it's don't probably know. Not. I'm probably tripping. Yeah, I think sitcoms are definitely a thing of the past. They're definitely on the dead side yeah. I oh, think sitcom Always right Sunny now. in Philadelphia is a sitcom what have you ever you ever heard of that no oh. Always Sunny in Philadelphia that's a long thing is that a name of a show <laughs> it, okay it is okay then is it's that a always, always Sunny has it in the studio it's like a set design it's like inside oh, a yeah, studio set design, yeah like, no one is there's no live I don't remember honestly that's a lot is that a name know. of a show it's always sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit, it's a mouthful. <laughs> I, I thought I thought that was a sitcom. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I might be tripping. Oh uh, yeah. I mean, we'd have to. I feel so terrible. I feel bad right now because I'm a full major and I don't know this. I should know. I mean, we did a course where we were breaking down like genres. But right hey, now, um, it's school's thing in the past. Yeah, school's thing. <laughs> <in the past. laughs> I feel that. I forget stuff I learned all the time. Um, but yeah, I think with, uh, who, the lady who um, she, she she won her first Emmy as well. The one who was Mama in Wakanda. The, the, yeah. Oh, Why is my memory Angela today? Bassett. She's, she's, Angela Bassett. She's the first one. Her first she's Emmy. been around a while. I know. She's been in good stuff. I'm surprised. So she took her first. And everyone was like, yay, she finally won her first Emmy. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Um, wait, 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 what she won it in? I can't remember. You can't remember? Yeah. But I, I, I saw her. I think it might, might have been one of those Lifetime ones. Probably, where it's yeah. Like, I don't know if there was anything Dramas specific. Yeah. If it was, what show, TV show was she on? Like nine, nine on one. That no nine one one. That's a popular show too. Well, yeah. a lot of people like. But that. I don't know if it was in the past. Yeah. Mm. So okay. um, uh, something else that I thought was pretty cool this past week was the VMAs. Mm-hmm. It's so funny how the, so much happened in this past two weeks. Yeah, it, is, it, was it like seems so like so much, a, especially on. in the entertainment atmosphere. It seems like yeah. there's a lot going on. But in Fashion Week. Emmys, VMAs, all back yeah. to back to back, yeah. But the VM, I mean, the VMAs have always happened during Fashion Week, so because yeah. all the celebrities are in the city. That's true. It's so a it's good like, time to do it. You know, yeah. just double whammy everything. Yeah. So yeah, they took place. We, I, I think we spoke about this last week, but we actually went to the block party the yeah, you and Marcus, couple right? of days yeah, before with yeah. Marcus. Um, pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I, we were just like, what, what, what is going on? Yeah, yeah we, we didn't sure. even know like what, what, to, what to anticipate. Yeah. yeah. But one of the guests who had come on the show previously, he was hosting that domain team. You told me that, yeah. He yeah. was hosting the show. So I, w- I was like, oh, we should probably go support. Mm-hmm. But I didn't know what to anticipate. And yeah. when we got there, it was, it was like so many people, it so much going packed. on. It yeah, in Brooklyn, right? Yeah, it was yeah. in Brooklyn. Um, so it was cool just being there. Um, mm-hmm. So we were also in, an- in anticipation to see what was going to happen at mm-hmm. the actual show. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, Megan the Stallion was hosting it. I don't mm-hmm. know how I feel about like, People who aren't host hosting, like because like they don't know like the technicalities. Not of being even a host. that. It's like there are so many hosts. Like there are so many. Like that. That's their specific role. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but I think that I mean. Like you're Ryan Seacrest out there. You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love Ryan Seacrest. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, that is a good point, though. I guess I wonder how they choose that, honestly. You I, know, like how they choose to. Like, I think I think it's more of like a numbers thing. So mm. they like last. I think last year they had Nicki Minaj. Or so s- yeah, so popular year. artists. So it's more of like artists. Part who of are, the VMAs, yeah, yeah, who are yeah. part of the the ecosystem. That to makes some sense. Degree. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, but I mean, like like the Grammys being hosted by Trevor Noah. You know that makes yeah, sense because yeah, he's yeah. like you know he's yeah, and then definitely. I think Jimmy Fallon hosts the Oscars. 
Uh, I think so. I I, I'm really not even or, quite familiar with a lot of the TV. Like yeah, the I, I shows. think Jimmy Fallon hosts one of them as well. Mm -hmm. um, but those, like, okay, that that I get. Yeah, because it's more fitting for that. Yeah. Atmosphere, I guess. But yeah. it is, it is. But yeah, so they happen, and she she mm -hmm. hosted them, and people are like, there's like this debate between Nikki and. Megan, it's like yeah. who's the better, you know, like the oh, whole yeah, industry like the, who's thing. The artist so movie. people were like trying to measure who's gonna get the numbers when it mm -hmm. comes to like you know did, who watched. So Megan beat. Um, she she her show was the most watched between nah, her and Nikki's. Nah. Um, and people attributed to her being the host. So yeah, it got. I think it got four million. I'm always team Nikki though. Four so. million. Oh, you're team Nikki. Yeah, I don't like. Megan. Why is that? OG. I don't know. Okay, fair. She, she, I grew up with Nikki. I didn't grow up with Megan. So. <laughs> Yeah. I actually think I also know more Nicki Minaj songs. Than yeah, oh yeah, me too, me too. And Megan The Stallion songs, apart from the ones that she's like, con like, featuring on. Yeah, I like agree. Like the, the Beyonce one she was in. Yeah. The one she's yeah. with, with Cardi B. In. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, but I could I could see that. Mm -hmm. Um, I could get that where you like Nicki over Megan. Yeah, I'm more like classic. Uh, she's she. I don't know. I just I was never a big fan of Megan. I don't know why. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Well, she she beat Nikki. I'm throwing shade if she's with listening. Numbers. Yeah. <laughs> she, yeah. she got the numbers in. So that was interesting to see that people were like, "Yo, yeah. all the Nikki fans, Megan beat y'all." Yeah, I'm sure there's the like a rivalry. Yeah. yeah. But there's also other contributing factors to maybe why there was more viewers this year. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. that could also make I sense. I mean, yeah. There's always it's gonna be different every year based on different things going on in yeah. the industry. Yeah. And in sure. the show as well. I I remember when we were at the block party everyone was talking about oh we can't wait to see sabrina carter perform uh, oh sabrina, sabrina carpenter <laughs> carter sabrina <laughs> carter <laughs> yeah. yeah no i remember oh, she had a big performance i saw that on twitter yeah, yeah. so her and katie perry was performing i saw that um yeah, yeah. The I think Tyler Tyler was there as well. I saw so that, you, I yeah, was I yeah. was even saying before we were recording like um, even the speech that Tyler made because mm -hmm. um, Tyler's becoming like a big a superstar name, now. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know Tyler, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, becoming a bigger name for sure. Um, you know Tyler as well, Marcus. Okay, okay. So it's pretty. Everyone pretty much knows her. Yeah, yeah. But it's kind of seeing her, seeing her stardom kind of explode now and rise mm -hmm. is so cool to see. And everyone's like, okay, is she gonna win? And she actually won. What she win? I don't um, Afrobeats. Okay. Yeah. Um, which is very interesting because she's actually she went on stage and then she was saying that she's actually an I'm a piano artist and not an Afrobeats oh artist. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, but she won in the Afrobeats category. Dang, so that was quite interesting. Win win to her, yeah. So yeah. that was quite interesting to see. Um, and then obviously people are always gonna talk. They were like upset about how she walked up the stage, and people were upset about how and people are gonna be upset. She about was like asking little Nas, what is it? Is it little Nas? What is his name? Which Nas one? X. Little Nas X. Yeah. yeah. Um, she asked him to hold her, her award because apparently it's very big. Oh yeah, yeah. We were like, why would she ask someone to hold her award? So there was just so many things happening. People, like people were saying though. people are gonna be hating on no matter what. Um, but yeah, that category. So she won that award. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so there was just it was pretty cool. I I didn't like go into the specific, and mm -hmm. obviously Dometi, who we were went to see at the li at the yeah yeah, you got to talk to him right when he, like there at the block party. Yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah we did yeah. we did, but um, he was hosting the pre-show at the VMAs as oh, well. Okay, okay. So he looked and he looked pretty cool. Like he looked good on yeah, the, on the yeah. black. It was black this year, so on the black carpet. Um and yeah, it was pretty cool to see the whole the whole thing kind of put together. Yeah, especially if you got to see it from kind of like a behind the scenes standpoint. It was it was pretty cool. Well, not behind the scenes, but like the block party, which be, was before the show. Yeah. So you got to see like the build up to it. So that's pretty. We cool. actually might have made it to the actual show because we we got to chat with the comms. Yeah. But um, we were already had sub we said yes to the fashion show. Yeah, that's. The, so we had to choose, and yeah. at that point it was like, who are we gonna go support? And we've already backed the. The South African the, the designers. Embassy, and so the, yeah, yeah. So that, that was like one. the timing on that's kind of bad. Maybe we'll go to the VMAs next yeah. year. Yeah. Hey, well, you know the so guy. So yeah. That's a plus. So, but I would have. It would have been cool. Again, you must think about what you must wear and what. Oh, too much. Yeah. Too yeah. much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> too much. Oh, that's a next. That's a worry for next uh, year. Yeah. It's, worry about it next year. Yeah. So that yeah, that's basically that. Okay. Um, cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh -huh. Anything else on your on your list? What is what is happening with the NFL? Is the season coming out right? Oh, a lot of injuries. <laughs> a lot of injuries. Uh, I don't, oh, I don't no. know if I want to talk about that right now. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm uh, sorry. It feels like I'm I, a, oh, I'm a I touched it. 
Miami. I'm a Dolphins fan, so it did come up, did it come our up? quarterback, man, he just he got another concussion. Uh, oh, he had no. like three last year, and there's already people were already talking about like how he needs to retire, and because you know CTE is like a pre- very prevalent in the NFL, but. He got he got hurt again week two. He instead of sliding, he dove forward and got hit in the head. He blacked out. He like stiffened up, and it was a bad look again. Oh no! Um, there's are the people already were saying he needs to retire again, but he already came out and said he's not going to. Which, you know, it's one of those it's one of those <laughs> tough things. It's like it's like what are you gonna he do? Loves you're the an game, NFL you're an NFL mean. star. Like you if you retire, right? You're gonna look back down the road and be like dang, you know, like, I, I could have stayed, like, what if? Oh, okay. But then again, like, it's you play, and then you have problems down the road. It's like, what if I retired? So it's, like, it's that tough decision, mm. but, like, I don't know. I think, you know, he knows what he signed up for. A lot, everybody in the NFL does. It's that risk you take when you play, and you just, I don't know. He's probably not going to play for a good chunk of this season, if the rest of the season at all, which um. I hope it's not the case, but uh, hope that he kind of gets the help he needs, really, and just – I hope the Dolphins don't end up uh, battling for a top five. Where pick. are you guys now in the league? Well, it's only week two, oh. um, so we're, you know. <laughs> I feel like I, I'm. It's I'm gonna be a, it's gonna be a rough. I don't. It's gonna be rough <laughs> the next couple of weeks. I'll put it that way. But uh, but yeah, not even last week you were like NFL. Yeah, I was NFL, ready. NFL. I was ready. Today you're like I don't talk about yeah, it. Yeah, I was ready. I get it. But now I'm I'm in the dumps about it. So it's okay. But the, you know, it's the NFL injuries happen. Do you have a second option of a team? Heck no, I'm a oh. I'm a diehard. Oh yeah, no. ride or die. So I'm riding with them no matter what. But uh, I'll keep my expectations a little lower right now. <laughs> Because uh, I've been around enough Cowboys fans to know that I wait, hate it. wait. What is what? What did he? What does he ask? Well, I'm from Dallas, but the Cowboys. You what know, are you? So you support Miami? I'm Miami Dolphins. I was born in Florida, um, but and my dad was a Dolphins fan, so I like, kind of grew in. So like, maybe the other the Dallas ones could be your number two. Heck no. Right? Like no, no, party. no, no, backup, never, backup never. Backup team, no, just no, in case. No, no. <laughs> In the the Cowboys, I will always laugh when they lose, <laughs> and I will always feel joy when they lose. Are and those they lost, guys good? No, it's the Cowboys are cursed. They lost, they got whooped by the Saints. Oh my God, the Cowboys are cursed. I'm one hundred percent cool. That they just Jerry Jones is gonna be Jerry Jones until the day he dies, <laughs> and he's gonna hand it to his son. His son's gonna be a Jones until the day he dies. It's just the, the franchises. It's uh, is that like a, a franchise team? I mean, they're like a family legacy thing. Yeah, family oh, legacy nice. thing. But I mean, it's the Cowboys. They're one of the most pop. I mean, they're mo- everyone around the world knows the Cowboys. You know, they're not a good team to be have to have as a, as a backup. No. no, trust me, you don't want to be a Cowboys fan. Okay, you don't want to be a Cowboys fan. I don't. I don't know anything. What What team are you, Marcus? I'm not really the team guy. I'm a Giants fan. Yeah, I sound like my Giants? old roommate. D- my friend, my old roommate DJ. He's like, oh, just whatever Tom Brady is. Like, oh, is that, is that where Tom Brady that's is right now? That's about as bandwagon as you can get. <laughs> Man, I don't want to hear that. Where are the Giants? The New Yorkers? Uh, so they're oh. bad, too. So he's, uh, yeah. Is yeah. bad bad or bad good? Bad is bad. Okay. Yeah. So B-A-D. it's not like bad good. Bad. I mean, I, I like Lamar. So is he in the Giants right now? No, he's on the Ravens, Baltimore Ravens. Oh, Baltimore. Okay. He's fun to watch, but I don't know. But how do you guys pick teams? Like, you pick teams because of where you're from? It's... I mean, that's a great question. I feel like everybody's you know kind of I mean? different. It's like it depends who you are. Are you a bandwagon? Which you don't want to be labeled bandwagon. You just, but you where, follow, where are the bandwagons? So the bandwagon, a bandwagon is somebody that just follows who's winning. So like if they're okay. winning, I like them. You know? <laughs> okay. But I'm, I, I'm, never, I'm going to always stick with my team no matter what. So, I mean, for my case, I was born in Florida. And my dad was a Dolphins fan. So like. Through our bonding uh-huh. of me growing up, I just kind of was a Dolphins fan. Yeah. And then, like, as I got older, it's just, like, it grew my fandom. Fair. Through the hard times and the good. So, like, okay. I just was always always a fan. Okay. And same with the, the college football. Like, I'm a Texas Longhorns fan. Same was my dad. He went to the 2005 National Championship game against USC. I remember vividly, like, me at home watching it when I was little. And he was there. And I was, like, was cool. that was so cool to me. And I just... Kind of grew my so in the in the college you support and you support Texas, Texas, Texas but in the yeah, actual yeah. league in the you NFL support. I support the Dolphins. Yeah. Okay. You yeah. see, it's like I don't. It's it's it, everyone's, diff, everyone's ah, different. Everyone's different. It's weird. Okay, it's weird, yeah. so it's that's the that's how. The, yeah, I have a lot more hope for college because uh, the Longhorns have been a dumpster fire for like ten years, and uh, we're finally ranked number one in the polls for uh. the first time since two thousand eight. Uh. So college. 
it's gonna be NFL. good to watch, but NFL, I'm I'm just taking it with a grain of salt. You know? That's interesting. Yeah. yeah, I think choosing a team because of like if it wins, that's a good thing to. That's a good play, way to that's select a, a team. No, like, no, no, that, they that have can't a, they have mean, they have a, a a reputation if, of that, winning. That's a good way for your friends to <laughs> give you a hard time. Yeah. Really? Yeah. No one. Oh, wants, I think no also a bandwagon. Yeah. It's like in soccer, like foot, like what do you call it? Yeah, soccer, right? Soccer. Yeah, yeah. You're like if Ronaldo is in Real Madrid, you follow Real Madrid, or if Ronaldo is Man- Manchester. Soccer's you follow Manchester or you yeah. do you know what I mean because you like tough. him and and because the team changes all the time See, so with soccer it, it is different than it I mean I don't know NFL and MLB like teams do change you do get a different players kind of here and there but soccer I feel you're changing all constantly because players go on loans yeah. and stuff um, I, I'm a Chelsea fan Chelsea which yeah. I just became a Chelsea fan because like I'm not gonna lie like I I, I am big into soccer but I, I got into it a little bit later. Oh, okay. Um, but I started liking Chelsea because I just – there was the team I used in t- uh, FIFA in 2011. Like, 2011 FIFA, I was, like, Chelsea's my team, and I just became, like, an actual fan after that. So, then I actually FIFA? started following them. It's like a video game. Oh. Yeah, and, and then, like, I actually started following after oh, that. Oh, so. okay, yeah. okay. And okay. then they got Christian Polisic, who's an American, mm. um, a couple years back, but he's on AC Milan now. But I've still been a mm. fan of Chelsea. Any, do you watch soccer? <laughs> Malcolm Marcus? No. 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 Like, if it's, like, if it's a Saturday morning and I'm, like, just... There's nothing else. Yeah. It, well, it's also European soccer. Is like, they play at, like, pretty different times. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, Europe, yeah. So. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, watching it in America is, like, it's really terrible because it's just an ad every 30 seconds. Yeah. And MLS, oh. the MLS, like, the Americans League is just not... Not but I player. heard uh, Messi's here. Messi plays Messi. for uh, Miami FC now. Yeah, a couple of his old like uh, so I'm teammates guessing the, do as well. The, the, it's it's growing here. Oh yeah, because like he went to Miami or he went to Miami my when I was in Dallas still, mm. and I remember he came and played FC Dallas, mm. and I was trying to get tickets. Why is he playing here? Uh, money and he's because the the league in just Europe he is can, big. Just because he can, mm. he probably wants to dominate. He's older, so. The competition level is a little different. He can have a little <laughs> more fun with it, I feel like. And I think he, I think I saw somewhere he, like, his kids wanted to be here or something. I don't know. Oh, okay. Who That's knows? Good. He's done everything he can do, so. Oh, you guys saw Ronaldo hit, like, something, I think a billion uh, subscribers on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, on YouTube. And he started he also, his account, like, I think uh, two weeks ago. Something yeah, he like j- oh, just opened it and, like, broke records. It's yeah. crazy. But when you're a face And apparently like that, that's why he, that's why YouTube didn't allow him to have an account. Because they knew it was going to be Because like they, they were not going to afford paying him all the ad revenue. I think he's almost the highest followed person on Twitter. He is Twitter, the highest. Right? All on Twitter. Yeah, Even on, on YouTube, Instagram as well, right? Yeah, I mean, it's Ronaldo. He's going to be followed everywhere. And yeah, I think he just scored his 900th goal, if I'm correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah, anyway, like so you know it's gonna be those Ronaldo. people are out there doing their thing, being great, <laughs> being yeah. great. <laughs> being um, great you know. But yeah, that's all. I think that's all we have today. I think so. Yeah. Anything? We need to get Marcus a mic. Yeah, Marcus, you gotta get up on get here. A mic, bro. dude. Gotta get a mic because I don't know if they can hear you. <laughs> Anything you wanna share before we wrap up? Share something. We'll say it for you on the mics. What is it? <laughs> you don't even know. Is it? I would say, uh, I think the bear is hilarious. The bear? Oh, okay. Oh, so different there you go. <laughs> you he, he think the bear is hilarious? Opinion, okay. Wait, what, what do you mean? Like, what, what is funny about it? So it's like, my, my sense of humor is really, really, like, like really dark. So, like, when people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Interesting. Okay, yeah. so I respect. I can get that. I can get that. Say something that you like a scene that you found funny. Say when he got stabbed, it was kind of funny. That was funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like exactly, and like the way he played it off, like that. That was a funny scene. I agree. Whole episode, the whole Christmas dinner episode. Yeah, yeah. That one was pretty funny. The mom was like freaking out. Yeah, yeah. The 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 brother is like on a suicide trip and he's just like lagging on everyone. And when they all talk, the way they all talk to each other, too. Also, like, from a, like a, a script writing standpoint, mm-hmm. uh-huh. like, Aaron Sorkin is one of my, like, favorite script writers. Yeah. Some of the dialogue is, like, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. And it's, like, the way that they talk, that is basically like that. It's, like, mm-hmm. you say something, and I'm coming back with a joke, and me, 
It's witty. Yeah, it's uh, real too. I feel like it's relatable. Yeah. Interesting perspective. There you go. Get I this hope man they a heard mic, you. Give bro. this man a mic. You gotta Pull get up a, a mic. third chair. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get, get Marcus a mic, everybody, and if we can fit him at the table, yeah. we'll try. Yeah. <laughs> it is a small table. It is a small table, but um, it's broke too. we'll figure it out. We'll figure yeah. it out. So he found it funny. That's actually that's a it, that's it's a good topic to throw in there. It's a good little good little tidbit. A different different take. Yeah. I didn't I didn't I I didn't, I wouldn't have thought about it that way, mm-hmm. but I think even as you're saying it, I'm like, okay, I see why it could be funny. Makes sense, yeah. That oh, makes sense. But that John Cena vibe, I, I was like, why is he here? <laughs> I didn't get that part. Did you John, see that? John Cena is in everything. Did you though. see that scene? I think it was like an e- one episode, and he was like one of the cousins, and he just came in, and just, I was just like, just to do a cameo. I was like, why? Yeah. Why? Season three was weird. To me. Oh, that was season three. Yeah. Okay. It was now, I, it took me a little bit to get through season three, because yeah. I, 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 I was kind of like slowed down by it a little bit as well. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, have you guys seen Bad Monkey? Huh? Bad Monkey. Bad Monkey. Okay, it's fine. We'll talk about it next time. Yeah, week. we'll talk about it. <laughs> I still need to go watch it. But, okay. um, I've, I heard, it's on Apple TV. Yes. I just saw the book at the bookstore. I was like, and it said Apple ah. TV. I was like, I'm going to try that. I'm so they've already it. changed the book branding? Yes, it's now on Apple TV. Damn, they're yeah. quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to check it out. Because the book though. had been around. For I want to check it out because it's like supposed to be like some suspenseful. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It finds it's an pretty... arm in the freezer or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I want to see that. Yeah. Um, Reese, she was on the show. She's actually one of the actresses on it. No way. Yeah, she was talking about it on the show. She was telling me how the whole thing came about and what? auditioning after grad school. Yeah, That's the whole pretty thing. cool. What a so, small world. Yeah, you guys cool. must check it out. Um, cool. And Emily in Paris came out, so I just wanted to catch Fashion up on that. Fashioning that is phenomenal. I but love yeah. Emily in Paris. Just no, but that. she's... Uh, we'll talk about it next week, but like... Yeah, we'll, we'll, stop, so talking, stop talking. Stop uh, talking. I'll stop talking. Yeah. Okay, right. guys, are you going to close the show? You again? close it out. You deserve oh, it. Oh, man. But the way you opened it is so cool. Uh, I was like, you. how am I going to match that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, thank you so much to everyone at mm-hmm. home for tuning in. This was yet again another installment of the Table Talk segment. We are contemplating separating this and having this its own like entire thing, but we'll figure yeah, that out. Yeah, we're working on some. We're working on that. Details, um, yeah, yeah. But thanks so much for tuning in mm-hmm. with myself, your favorite global. Do- you need to have like your own like thing. saying. Yeah. Like I am like favorite global. Dog. I don't know. We'll you need work to, on that. You, you need That's to gonna take time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just have. I just like it. So I am your favorite global darling, and the one and only Nate Pennington, Marcus behind the m- Marcus behind the microphone, the cameras, <laughs> the everything, the computer, the computer, the whole thing. We'll see you guys next week for yet another episode of the Vuyo Show for the Table Talk segment. We still gotta change the name for that as yeah, well. Yeah, that's probably totally like taken. Yeah, already. but anyway, we'll see you guys next week. Don't see us. Now. See you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Yay.